on the whoa. Welcome to Seeing Through Glass and welcome to the 360. My first video with this car this year. No, it did not go up in flames over Christmas like I think most of us expected it might. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but back in December, I got my first engine warning light in this car. It was a slightly uh, butt clenching moment, but the guys at AV Engineering came to my rescue a few days later, plugged in their incredible 30,000 pound diagnostic tool from Ferrari and worked out it was actually a very simple problem. I had been hoping to film this video from AV Engineering's workshop, but my schedule for January is so mental, I just don't have the time to get down there. But I will, I will do a video when we rip this car apart and fix it, that is coming. Today, I'm gonna to talk you through what the issue with the car is or was, but I'm also gonna give you a bit of a 2018 general update, because I feel like it's an integral part of being a YouTuber. You can't start a new year without making a video telling everyone why it's gonna be the best year ever. So that is what we're gonna to do today. Let's kick things off with the engine warning light. Now you're gonna to have to forgive me because I'm not that mechanically minded. So if I get some of my wording wrong or it doesn't all make sense, I promise I will make it up to you when I take this car down to AV Engineering's workshop. But my understanding from what Aldous, who's the sort of uh, head mechanical, runs the workshop down at AV Engineering, said to me was that basically there was a, a sort of emissions issue that was causing a misfire when the car started up. So essentially there's some rubber tubing or there's a small plastic part that was was either letting some fuel escape or it was keeping some fuel in it. So when the car started up, uh, it didn't think that the emissions was working properly. So basically it was an anti-VW scandal. <laughs> Whatever reason it was, it wasn't a major issue. It was just on startup and then it cleared. So the car is fine to drive. I've got no engine warning light right now. It was not a major issue, but it's a small part that probably needs to be replaced. Either this plastic tubing or this small plastic cap or rubber tubing. Anyway, I don't really know. We're gonna find out when we rip this car apart. The guy said we should replace it, we should repair it. Um, it hopefully won't be that expensive and it hopefully won't be anything else. Of course, they only looked at it with a diagnostics machine. They're not absolutely certain that is the issue, but that's what they expect it to be. So, as soon as I have time, this car will be going down there. We will film an entire video of the process and of the repair if it is needed. Um, but, touch wood for now, the car is still behaving perfectly. I've had no issues. It's been wonderful today, even though it is this horribly, horribly dark and dingy day in London and driving any car in London is crap. I'm still loving being in this 360. So let's move on to the generic 2018 updates. Number one, I have launched a separate channel for Behind the Glass, my podcast. Don't know if you all know that I, I filmed or I launched a podcast last year and lots of you said that you preferred watching the episodes of the podcast rather than just listening to it but I didn't know if that was a minority of you or a majority of you so rather than flooding this YouTube channel with half an hour long podcasts I thought I'd set up a separate channel so if you want to watch episodes of the podcast on YouTube you can go to youtube.com forward slash behind the glass I'll put a link below a link up here and a link at the end of the video and blah 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 and then you can subscribe and watch the first episode is already out now if you want to only listen to it it is still available on soundcloud.com forward slash seen through glass or iTunes podcast. So it's up to you, up to you how you consume it. You can ignore it completely if you want to, but if you're interested, if you're keen, please head over there and check it out. Number two, the STG shop. 
You may uh, notice I'm wearing a very fetching hello on an all maroon sweater. Uh, you may have missed that during Vlogmas, or just before Vlogmas, I launched a seen-through glass shop. Finally, I've been looking to do it forever. Uh, this is really a way for you guys to help support all the projects and things that I am doing or want to do on seen-through glass, but also a way for you guys to get more involved in the brand. Let's face it, I am just the face, the presenter of seen-through glass. You guys are as much a part of this channel as I am, and hopefully you can go onto the STG shop find yourselves hoodies, sweaters, t-shirts, hats that you like and be a bigger part of this entire brand. Excitingly, not only is there clothing on the STG shop, but now, finally, after years of you guys asking, I've been able to add my magnetic phone holders. So many of you want to know where I get my phone holders. Well, now you can go into the STG shop and get yourselves a magnetic windscreen or air vent mount. These things are fantastic. You simply put a little bit of metal on either your phone case or inside your phone case and magnetically it then just snaps to your windscreen mount or your air vent mount. They're brilliant. I've told everyone, oh my God, a four by four squared. That thing is mad. Um, yeah, I've told everyone about them. All my friends have them. All my family have them now. So I can only highly recommend them. Head over seenthroughglass.com and then there's a link to the SDG shop there. You can find all the clothing. You can find the windscreen and air vent mounts. And finally, last but not least, I want to tell you about a couple of trips I've got coming up. The first of which is to Norway for the Team Galag Snow Tour. Now, you may remember last year, James, Mr. JWW, Seb Delaney, John Olsen, uh, Sam Moores, Team Galag themselves, of course, and a number of other people took part in this crazy Scandinavian adventure called the Snow Tour. It was essentially a whole load of lunatics driving cars that should never be driven in the snow in the snow. Um, it looked amazing, and somehow, I've ended up with an invite to this year's event. I am so excited. However, um, I'm not able to attend the entire thing. I'm only going from the 22nd to the 26th. I think it starts on the 18th. So I'll miss the first few days, but I'll be flying in and joining. But that is coming up in literally a couple of weeks now. So I'm very excited about Norway. The other trip that I really want to talk to you about is Cape Town, South Africa. I have never been to South Africa. I've never been to Africa. Um, and I'm stupidly excited about this. I'm going to go for a few days in mid-February. Uh, I'm there with Audi for a, for a press launch. Um, oh my God, why is this truck being such a dick? You're a dick truck! I really don't enjoy driving in London much these days. Um, but yes, oh, okay, fine. So I'm going to uh, Cape Town. Uh, I've got a few days there and I just want to do as much as possible. I'm hopefully going to be linking up with Steve Booker, who I think is going to be out there with Ben Brown. Um, I've got a whole lot of other sort of carpets I want to do, but if you guys, if any of you are from Cape Town, uh, if you know Cape Town, if you've got roads to recommend that I should drive, if you've got cars you think I should film, if you know of cars and coffee events, anything, let me know. It is mid-February that I'm coming and I'm really excited about that. There are lots of other trips happening in the imminent future but also uh, being planned so from now until kind of April I'm hardly in the UK which is sad but also very exciting because this time of year in the UK is pretty poo um, and the whoa that was scary um, the very last thing I wanted to touch upon was this car and the upgrades to it because I know I keep banging on about wheels exhaust and retrimming this steering wheel it is in the plans the thing is I love this car so much as it is it doesn't really feel like a priority it doesn't feel that urgent to do these things of course I want to do them but every time I have any kind of disposable income it seems to go on other projects and I've got some really big projects which will be announced in the beginning part of this year that needed my financial input and so I don't know like I plan on having this car for a very long time and as I say I love it as it is and the upgrades would be nice to do and I would love to do them before Top Marks Monaco in April I always said the car would rest up over winter I would do all the mods and have it ready for road trip season which kind of launches in April so I would love to do that but as I say I've got so much going on that that money might get spent elsewhere. For example, the exhaust on the 718 Cayman S. I don't know why I feel like that's more important than the 360, but the 360 sounds so good already. I mean, oh, anyway, it's gonna happen. I'm sure I'll keep talking about it. I'm sorry if you're getting frustrated, if you wanna know what's happening, but I thought I'd give you an update rather than making you think I was just dragging you along. Slowly but surely, things will happen. Discussions have been had. I know where to get the wheels. I know where to get the exhaust. I know who I want to retrim the steering wheel. Stay tuned. 
I think that's probably it. Um, it's been a real generic update video. I didn't plan on doing it like this. As I say, I wanted to get down to AV engineering, but life doesn't always work out as you had planned. Uh, later this week, I'm headed off to, actually no, by the time this video is out, I think I would have already been to the Autosport show up in Birmingham. So uh, video to come on that. And then this weekend, I'm off to Marrakesh for the Formula E. I've never been to a Formula E race. I've never been to Morocco. So yeah, lots of exciting things in the plans. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.